Okay, welcome guys. I'm super excited about today's workout. We're going to do a shorter yoga gym class today, particularly focused on using sliders. Um, we're actually going to use our own, make our own sliders today. If you guys have sliders, great, you can use those, um, but you definitely don't need them. What we're going to use today is going to be two little like washcloth towels, which is what we're gonna work with the majority of the time. Uh, and then I also suggest you give yourself like a big beach towel or bath towel or something like that. You can also use a blanket. Um, I'm working with hardwood floor. So if you guys are using carpet, what you can do is you can either like cut up a cereal box, like the, the glossy side down. Uh, you can use, you can make kind of two of your own little sizes, kind of something like this size. Uh, you can also use paper plates, plastic plates, uh, something that's just going to gl glide smoothly on your carpet. Um, so yeah, go ahead and get all of those things and then let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to get started lying on our back today. So I'm just going to actually roll up my mat here just so I have a little bit of extra space. Um, and then we're actually, let's use the, the bigger kind of beach towel to begin today. So go ahead and take your beach towel just to the top of your mat. Um, and again, it can be a bath towel. I'm just using my beach towel. <laughs> uh, go ahead and take it to the top of your mat. And then you're gonna come to the right to the edge of your mat. So just make sure that the blanket or the towel is going to be on like the slidey portion of the floor. And then your tush can be on a mat. Uh, this class can probably also be done without a mat, but it's just gonna be definitely a little bit more comfortable for you if you do have a mat to lay on. All right, so let's go ahead and come and lie all the way down. Now that we have that, so your feet are going to be set up on the blanket or your towel. And then from here, feet are about hip distance apart. Knees are at about 90 degrees. We're going to start moving right away. So palms press down alongside you. What I want you to do is slide your feet a little bit further away from you than you normally are used to. And then press into your heels. You're going to lift the hips up. Then you're gonna slowly lower the hips down, and then you're gonna slowly lift them all the way back up. So we're getting a little bit of extra hamstring engagement as we come into these little glute lifts. So we're just gonna keep going like this. I'm gonna grab my little timer, but you guys keep it going nice and strong. So basically, uh, the further out your feet are, the harder it is going to be to keep um, this blanket from going rogue on you. Nice, so just keep going down and up with those hips. We're gonna be here for about a minute and then we're gonna take this of one leg in, which is gonna definitely make it a little bit more challenging. So keep going down and up with the hips. Keep drawing the belly in. So this is just as much core work as it is for your glutes and for your hamstrings. So keep going. Allowing yourself to synchronize breath with movement. So exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. We got another 15 seconds left, just like this. So I can already start to feel some heat on the backs of my thighs. Good. Keep going. We got another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, slowly lower the hips all the way down. You're going to take your right foot more to the center of your blanket, then pull your left knee into your chest. Okay, from here, palms press down alongside you. Again, we're just gonna lift and lower the hips, but only one leg we're balancing on. So stabilize through your center. Ready, set, and go. Lift the hips up. Don't let that blanket get away from you. We're here for 30 seconds on each side. Good, down and up with those hips. If you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> this is one of my favorite all-time exercises. And with a little bit of a um, slider, it just makes it a little bit more challenging. Good, keep going. We got another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lower everything down. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So that left foot is gonna meet the blanket or your beach towel, and then pull your right knee into your chest. From here, pressing down through that left heel, lift the hips up and lower. Good, keep going like that. We got 30 seconds on this side. We have a tendency to drop into uh, the hip that is lifted. So the leg that you are not using, we have a tendency to drop that hip down and make sure that you're not doing that. Okay, so stabilize through the center. You can even bring your fingertips to your hips to make sure that they're really in line. Nice, keep going. We got another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. All right, lower everything down. So hopefully you're feeling some heat in the backs of your legs. You can go ahead and extend them up towards the sky. Take a moment, turn out those ankles. Good. Neck out those hamstrings. Good. And then grab back behind the hamstrings. Let's just go ahead and rock ourselves all the way up to seated. We're going to go ahead and move this blanket or towel out of our way for now. Take all of your little sliding mechanisms to the top of your mat. I'm going to go ahead and unroll my mat. And then we'll make our way into a downward facing dog on our mat. So plant the hands out in front of you, step the feet all the way back and lift your hips all the way up and back towards the sky. So hands about shoulder width and distance apart, palms are really equally rooted and grounded to the floor. And then you're using the strength of the arms to actively press the floor away and send weight into the legs, in to the hips. Nice, elevating those hips all the way up towards the ceiling, getting some more space for that lower back. Awesome, we'll take another breath in here. So take an inhale. As you softly start to settle, breathe out. Awesome, and then from here, let's inhale, send the right leg all the way up. As you do that, open the hip, bend the knee, and give it a nice little stretch. Equally ground down through your hands and square off your shoulders. Good, stay there for a breath. Big breath in, and a full breath out. Good, straighten the leg, you're gonna square it off. As you exhale, draw the knee to the nose, shift the body weight forwards. Good, let's inhale, send the leg all the way up and back, three-legged dog, let's do that two more times. Exhale, knee comes in. Nice, up and back, big breath in. Exhale, pull it back in. Let's pause there for an inhale. And then as you exhale, use the strength of your belly to step that foot all the way through between your hands. This is where you're gonna want your larger towel or your blanket. Go ahead and fold it up so you've got some cushioning underneath it. And then drop your back knee all the way down onto that cushion. All right, from here, as you inhale, let's reach the arms all the way up. Good, as you exhale, you're gonna sweep your arms back, you're gonna hinge yourself forward, and you're gonna lean forward as you retract the shoulder blades. All right, from here, inhale, start to pull your left heel into your tush, so you feel that hamstring activate and engage. And then stay down here, but if your balance allows, you can take it all the way up. Good, we'll stay there as you inhale, keep squeezing that left heel into your tush. Good, and then as you exhale, hands are gonna come down, your back toes are gonna tuck underneath, and you're gonna peel it back to find a little hamstring stretch. Good, let's do that a couple more times. So inhale, rebend the front knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back, hinge yourself forward and lean. Curl your back heel into your tush, breathe in. Stay there and breathe out. If your balance allows, you can inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Otherwise, you can keep your arms back. And then as you exhale, release all of that and peel it back to find that little runner's lunge. Good, let's take another three more. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, sweep your arms back, hinge, lean. Good, curl the heel to the tush, so squeeze that heel all the way, and I like to point my toes. Stay there as you breathe out. Good, and then if balance allows, inhale, reach up. Good, and then exhale, hands come down, peel it back, little stretch. Go we get two more just like that as you inhale, rebend. Exhale, sweep, hinge, lean. Squeeze that back heel to tush, breathe in. Stay there and breathe out. Good, balance allows, inhale, set it up. And then exhale, hands come down, peel it back, little stretch. Good, again, last one, inhale, rebend, reach the arms. Exhale, sweep, hinge, lean, retract those shoulder blades, so puff your chest out. Squeeze the back heel to your tush. Stay there as, as you breathe out. And then inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hands come down, peel it back, find that little hamstring stretch. We're gonna stay here for an extra breath on this last round. Full breath in. Good, full breath out. Awesome. As you inhale, let's re-bend back through that front knee. Exhale. Step back, downward facing dog. Awesome, take a moment to pedal out those legs. Okay, and then inhale, send the left leg all the way up and back. 
open up the hip and the knee, give a nice little stretch. I'm very close to my door today. <laughs> Stay there, big breath in. And do full breath out. Straighten the legs, square it up. Exhale, bring your knee to the nose. Pull it up and back, breathe in. Exhale, pull it back in. Awesome, one more, up and back. Exhale, pull it back in. Pause there as you inhale, and then use the strength of your belly to step that foot all the way through between your hands. So if your uh, towel is already there, go ahead and set your right knee down onto it, or just move it right underneath that right knee. Good. And then once you have that cushioning, inhale, reach the arms back up. I'm already sweaty. <laughs> Let's synchronize breath with movement. Exhale, sweep your arms back, hinge, and lean. Good. Pull that back heel to your touch, so squeeze it in. I like to point my toes and stay there as you breathe out. Awesome. As you inhale, maybe lift up or just stay where you are. As you exhale, everything comes down. Stretch it back to find that little hamstring stretch. Okay, also don't want you all the way back here. Okay, you want to be up a little bit higher. Good, let's do that four more times. So inhale, revamp, lift the arms. Exhale, sweep, hinge, lean. Squeeze the heels to the tush, breathe in. Stay there and breathe out. Awesome, maybe reach the arms up, breathe in. And then exhale, hands come down, little stretch. Good, last three, breathe in, reach the arms. And exhale, sweep, hinge, lean. Squeeze the heel to tush, breathe in. Stay there, breathe out. All the way up, inhale. Ooh, exhale, hands come down and peel it back. Ooh, I forgot to keep my <laughs> heel squeezed in. That's okay, two more. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, sweep, hinge, lean. Squeeze that heel in. Stay there, breathe out. Don't forget to keep it in. Inhale, reach the arms. Good, exhale, hands come down. Little stretch. Good, our last one here. As you inhale, re the front knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep, hinge, lean. Squeeze that heel into your tush. Woo, stay there, breathe out. Awesome, hopefully you're feeling that hamstring. Inhale, maybe lift the arms up. And then exhale, hands come down. Stay there for that little stretch. Good. Full breath cycle here, inhaling, full breath out. Awesome, as you inhale, we bend the front knee, and then downward facing dog, just step all the way back. Woohoo! Okay, from your downward facing dog, you can go ahead and just move that towel up to the side, and then let's inhale, take this forward, find a plank. Super solid, stable, strong in the belly. So find your abdominal brace here. We're gonna revisit plank <laughs> a lot today. It's so really important to have that abdominal brace. Squeeze, it's almost like you're pulling your belly button forward towards your sternum. You're contracted through your glutes. Your legs are really lit up and engaged. Breathe. Another big breath in here. And then as you exhale, let's just come all the way down to the tummy. Good. We're setting it up for some cobra pulls. As you inhale, lift yourself up. Shoulders draw up to your ears, but then let them soften down your back. Hug your elbows in and pull yourself forward. Breathe, pull yourself forward. Five, four, three, two, and one release. Good. So we got two more just like that. Make sure you're pulling yourself forward like you're gonna go shooting forward on like a little slip and slide. As you inhale, Lift up, cobra, elbows stay bent, you guys. Hug them in, and then pull forward. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. So this should feel really challenging. I don't know if you saw me shaking there a little bit, um, but it should kind of be at that stage. Woohoo, last one. Take an inhale. Lift up, pull, hold. Five, four, three, two, Release everything down. All right, from here, press back to a little child's pose. Good, stay here for a moment. Big breath in. I'm gonna use my towel to wipe my sweat. <laughs> and a full breath out. Bonus of this class. All right, as you inhale, let's come up to all fours, tabletop. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and just roll up my mat. If you guys have tons of space around you, you don't have to roll up your mat, but I'm just working with limited space here. So I'm gonna roll up my mat. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little hand towels, my little washcloths. Let's go ahead and take only one of them. So I'm gonna take my left hand onto my little washcloth. It's gonna be easier for you guys to see if I show you this side first. So from here, maybe what you wanna do is you wanna to come to a modified plank position. So hug your belly in. So make sure you're not, butt's not in the air, your hips aren't sagging down. Okay, so you're full, coming to that little like really strong, solid half plank. So we're gonna be chaturanga in the right arm as the left arm reaches forward, but we're not gonna collapse into that right shoulder. So turn on the belly, left arm reaches forward as the right elbow bends, and then pull everything back into center. Good, let's do that a couple more times. So extend and pull. Good, extend that left arm and pull. Good, keep going. Extend, pull. Good, extend, pull. Good, give me another two. Extend and pull. Squeeze in through that armpit, last one and pull. Good, take a moment to release that. So sit back, hips to heels, finding your little child's pose. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our other side. I'm just gonna rearrange here. Rearrange all the things. So I can go ahead and take my hand onto my second little washcloth. So right hand's gonna be onto um, that washcloth and then set yourself up in your modified half plank position again. I go to go back a little bit further. Good. So from here, you're going to be able to see the mechanics of what's going on with this left arm. So what I don't want to see is collapsing down like this. Yeah? All right. Ready? Set. And go. Right arm forward. Left arm strong. And then pull it all the way back in. Good. Keep going like that. So extend forward. I need a little bit more space, you guys. But you guys keep going. Good. Another three. Ready? Go. Well, I mean, this is three. <laughs> Good. Four. Five. Keep your core strong. Six. We're going to seven. And another one. Pull it all the way in. Good. All right, so go ahead and get off of that. So now you have experience with the sliding mechanism. We're going to really dive into that. All right, grab some water if you need. I'm going to go ahead and reposition my mat. You're going to stand at the top of your mat, and we're going to go ahead and switch over to our little washcloths. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and stand. Uh, I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see. But if you guys are facing the top of your mat, just make sure that, that the left foot can fully slide on something, whether it's the carpet or whether it's your hardwood. And then your right foot's gonna be about hip distance apart from it. Left foot is gonna be fully on the washcloth. So we're gonna come down into a squat. So sit all the way down, weight through your heels, your chest stays lifted. Okay, as you're in the squat, keep hugging in through that right hip. Left leg is gonna extend all the way to the side. You're gonna squeeze through that inner left thigh, pull it back in, and then come to stand. Yeah, so that's one. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start my timer. Get set. We're gonna stay on that left side. We'll switch over to the other side. All right, and go. Come down, left leg extends, left leg pulls in, and then up to stand. Down, out, in, down, out, in, up. Good, keep going. Down, out, pull, and up. Good, keep it going. Nice and strong. So this right leg is doing a lot of work to stabilize, but that left leg also has to work. So we're working that inner thigh on that left leg. Good, keep it going. And notice how my right hip is not swinging to the side as I do this. Keep it going nice and strong. Oh yeah, we got another 10 seconds on this side. Good. Out, in, up, last 
one, out, in, and up. Good, go ahead and shake that off. Before we come into the second side, let's go ahead and grab both of our washcloths. You will probably want to step off of your mat for this one, so just step sideways off of your mat. So you have all of this floor space to move on. Okay, so both feet are gonna be planted on your washcloths, and you gotta be really careful that your legs don't go rogue because they're working kind of against each other. They both have minds of their own. <laughs> so we'll make our way to the top of our mat, and we're gonna come to some slider sun salutations. Good, as you inhale, you're gonna lift the arms up, and then as you exhale, you're gonna fold over your legs. Let's take an inhale. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands on the floor, bend your knees as much as you need to. Press your feet out to a plank. Good. Stay there in your plank. Big breath in. And then chaturanga, elbows bent. Think a tricep push up. Flip the toes, thighs and pelvis lift. Shoulders down the back, upward facing. And then lift the hips up. You need to flip the toes one at a time until you're in this very narrow downward dog. Good. It's gonna feel weird, don't worry. All right, we'll take an extra breath in there, big breath in. You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna look forward. Think of pulling your shoulders over top of your wrists, pull all the way in, and then inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. And exhale to fold. Good. All the way to stand, inhale, rise up nice and high. And then exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Good, all right. So let's go ahead and do our second side of our little lateral lunges. So go ahead and put the washcloth underneath your right foot. I'm just gonna turn this way so you guys can see, but you guys can totally be on like um, the right side of your mat with your left foot on the mat and your right foot off the mat. Okay, so right foot on the washcloth. Ready? Let me go over here because it's less sweaty. <laughs> Get set. Where's my timer? All right. And go. You're going to sit down, hug in through the outer left hip, squeeze in through the inner thigh, and then up. Down, out with that right leg, in with that right leg, up. Keep going. Down, out, in, up. Good. Down, out, in, up. Good. Down, out, in, up. Keep going. We are almost there. 30 more seconds to go. Keep yourself seated strong on that left side. Make sure that left hip is not swinging out to the side. Good. Awesome, last 15 seconds. Nice. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stand up, shake that off. Good, and then we'll go ahead and take both of our washcloths back to the top of the mat. One underneath either foot and another sun salutation. Then we're gonna really get crazy with it. As you inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, just to fold. Good, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands, bend your knees as much as you need to. Keep your shoulders stacked above your wrists. Push back to your plank. And then from here, chaturanga. Always feel free to drop your knees down on the floor if you need. Inhale into your upward facing. And then all the way back, squeeze from the belly. Roll over those toes, downward facing dog. And yes, I know, it feels really long. Feels really weird. Awesome, take one more big breath in here. We'll do the same thing we did before. So think of pulling your shoulders over top of your wrists, bend your knees, and then pull hips high, 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 high. Whee! All the way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And exhale to fold. All right, all the way up, breathe in. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Good. Third time's a charm, let's do one more. Inhale, lift the arms up, and exhale, fold. Halfway, breathe and lengthen. Plant your hands, press back. Good, inhale at the top, 
Chaturanga, breathe out, take a tricep push up. Lift those toes, inhale, thighs and pelvis, lift shoulders down the back, and then lift from the pit of the belly, then roll over those toes into your little short downward dog stance. Good. <laughs> from here, one more big breath in. Bend your knees, engage through your belly, and then just pull your hips all the way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. All the way to stand. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Good. All right. I'm just going to get my mat out of the way here so I have a little bit of more space. I'm just going to fold it over once. And then I'm going to come to stand at the top of my mat. And I'm going to take one of my washcloths underneath my left foot. So we're going to come to some slider lunges here. So the right foot is going to stay firmly rooted and grounded on the floor, rooted down through that right heel. We're just going to go back and forth, sliding on this left leg. Hug me into the outer right hip. We're going to go for a minute. We're going to find 30 seconds in a curtsy pulse after that. So ready? Get set. And go. You're going to extend your left leg back as the right knee bends to about 90 and then Pull it with that front heel as you come all the way up. So down, up. And you can do anything that you'd like with the arms. If you want to catch the waist, that works for you. Good. Awesome. Nice. Think about that front leg is the one that's pulling you all the way in. So dig the heel into the floor. It's like you're just trying to stand up on that right leg. Nice, the left leg has almost no weight in it. Which is like, physically impossible, but <laughs> let's make it about the front leg. Keep going. Woo, we got another 15 seconds. And then we're gonna do our curtsy, lunge, pulse. Good, keep going. Then we got a fun little finisher. After this, after we do our second side, Good. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Now from here, from standing, keep your right leg where it is. Crisscross your left leg behind. Bend both knees. So your knees are kind of tracking behind each other. Hips are forwards. Pulse, 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 pulse. Keep going. <laughs> Halfway there. 15 more seconds. Nice, way through that front heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Send all the way up. Woo! Feeling that right over hip? This is gonna be my sweat towel from now on. Okay, second side, shall we? So let's go ahead and <clears throat> take the washcloth underneath the right foot this time. So we're going to be standing on that left leg. We're going to go for a minute, 30 second curtsy pulse. And we're going to come into sun salutation. We're going to draw a finisher. Ah, it's going to be so good. Okay, are we ready? I'm in a little sweaty spot here. I'm going to step back. <laughs> Get set. Awesome. And go. So hug it through that outer left hip. Think about standing on that left leg as you pull the right leg all the way in. Good. Keep it going. Digging down through that left heel, hugging in through that outer left hip. Good. Awesome. We're almost there, you guys. Keep going. 20 more seconds. Then we got our pulse. Nice. Awesome. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Crisscross that right leg behind your left. Come down. Bend both knees. Weight still rooted through that left heel. Pulse. Yes. Try to come as low as you can go, you guys. Hips stay facing forwards. Good. Breathe. 
10 seconds. <laughs> Home stretch now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake that off. Awesome. Okay, so we are almost done. We're gonna take one more of those little flows. We're gonna come into our little finisher. All right, so come to stand with both feet on the washcloths. Hmm. Mine are getting less slippery because <laughs> they're absorbing my sweat. Um, which I mean, hey, I guess it's kind of thing you're for, right? Okay. All right, use your inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pull forwards. Let's go halfway length in your spine. Clench your hands, press all the way back to your plank. Nice to see how sticky there. Chaturanga. Upward dog, take it through. And then all the way back. Flip over those toes. Back to your narrow downward dog. Good. So instead of bringing it all the way to the top of your mat, I'm going to drop your knees down to the ground. Take a second. Grab some water. Towel up. Clearly, I need to. <laughs> Now we're coming to our little core finisher. So, I'm actually just gonna get my mat totally out of the way for now. So I have a little bit more space to show you guys everything. So, full minute and a half, three exercises, 30 seconds each. All right, we're gonna do them together. The first one is just opening the legs wide in a plank and bringing them back into hip distance. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. I'll lead you through it as we go. Are we ready? Let's get my timer set. Okay, we're gonna start a plank on your hands. If you need to be on your forearms, by all means, come on. By all means, come on down to your forearms. We will be on the forearms for the second exercise. Okay, so ready? <clears throat> Get set. I'm nervous. <laughs> and go in your plank. Legs wide. Legs in. Legs wide. Legs in. Good. But you're gonna keep your hips this height the entire time. Your legs are going wide. And you're squeezing all the way back in. Good. Nice. Working on those inner thighs. Ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pause. Stay up. <laughs> Lower your forearms down. <clears throat> Clasp your hands if you need. Then you're going to shift back and pull forwards. So shift back, keep your hips high, shift forwards. Good. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good, keep going. Keep those hips up. <laughs> awesome work, you guys. Cool. Ten seconds. <clears throat> nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Make your way back up onto your hands and then pull those knees into your chest. But don't move your shoulders. Almost done. Almost done, you guys. Home stretch. 15 seconds. Nice. Nice, we're almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, you did it. Okay, one last quick exercise on our back. We do final stretches and that's it. Okay, so grab some water. Rearrange your setup as you need. I'm going to go ahead and put my mat back. Make sure you have space to slide at the top of your mat. Okay, and then you're going to take with your washcloths. You can also use your big towel for this, you guys. It'll be a little bit more controlled because the legs are going to be working together to move one singular piece versus two separate ones. So you guys choose. On your back. We're going to come into some hamstring curls. Last minute of work. You guys have worked super hard today. We're going to stretch the shit out. Coming our way. Ready. Get sweaty. So your feet are about hip distance apart. They are on either their own individual towels or one towel. Okay, both heels need to be on the towels. Feet are about hip distance apart. Knees are to 90 degrees. 
Press into the floor, lift your hips up. Good. So keep your hips up this entire time, and then both legs extend. Don't go too far. Pull the heels into the tush. Good. That's one. Back out. In. Two. Three. As you get more comfortable, you can start to go further. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight. Drag those heels in. Nine. Keep those hips up. Ten. Use your core. Eleven. Nice. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Good, you made it. Release your hips all the way down. Take a moment. Hug those knees into your chest. Ooh. Rock from side to side. Hmm. So we use the tush and the hamstrings a lot today, so let's go ahead and stretch them all out. So you're gonna leave your left foot onto the floor. Um, we're actually done with our slideies, so you can go ahead and wiggle yourself back. If you like, just get as comfortable as possible. Okay, I'm gonna go in from the back, because then I might <laughs> go out of frame. So, feet are bent on the mat. Extend your right leg up towards the sky. Feel that hamstring like, be like, hello. Interlace your fingers on the back of that hamstring and then flex through your right foot. Like you were holding at the ceiling with that right foot and your heel were holding at the ceiling by your toes. So you can reach arms back towards you. And then you can curl in a little bit more. You can crawl the hands up. Uh, I guess I should, should say down the leg. You can do that too. As you can see, my leg is like shaking. <laughs> and breathe. So you're just breathing in whatever stage you're at. Five more breaths, five. You're going to slowly start to bend at that right knee, open up the hip, cross the right ankle above your left knee, and then grab up behind your left hamstring. Good, breathe. Soften the head, neck, and shoulders down as you settle into this little thread and needle stretch. Just for another three. Four, two. One more big breath in. And a full breath out. Good. All right, from there, you're going to slowly start to release. Okay, and then you're going to step your right knee on top of your left leg. So, right knee on top of your left knee, and then press your hips. This always confuses everyone. Press your hips to the right, and then drop your knees over towards the left as your arms open out to little cactus arms. If you have the space, you can fully extend those arms all the way out to either side, but otherwise, cactus bend at the elbows. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Four, two. One more big breath in. And a full breath out. Use your inhale. Pull everything all the way back up through center. And then switch. So right foot is going to come down to the ground. Your left leg is going to extend all the way up towards the sky. And then interlace your fingers on the back of your left hamstring. Flex through that left foot. Pull the toes all the way back towards the face. Nice. Just breathe. <clears throat> nice. Good. Try to lengthen that left leg towards straight as much as you can. Just another three breaths. Three. Good. Four, two. Take another big breath in. And a full breath out. You're going to go ahead and release the arms. And then open up that left hip. Cross the right or left ankle above your right knee. And then drop back behind your right shoulder. Settling your head, neck, and shoulders down into the ground. And just allowing your breath to soften your entire body. Nice 
another three. From there, you're going to release your hands, release your right foot down to the ground, stack your left knee on top of your right knee, shift your hips over left, okay, so shift hips left first, knees go to the right, arms open cactus. Nice work, and breathe this time. Bring your head can look in the opposite direction of the knees, if that feels good. And you're just softening and settling. Nice, again, another three. One more big breath in. And we pull breath out. Good, as you inhale, bring the legs all the way back through center. And take a moment to uncross the legs, hug your knees into your chest, and rock a little bit from side to side. So this is where I'm going to leave you today, my friends. So if you guys want to take like a little shavasana or a little meditation right now, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed our slider at home workout. Um, yeah, always try to keep things, mix things up, keep things interesting while we're stuck at home right now. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll see you soon. Namaste.